G'day guys, you are watching the Space Slugs. Uh, it's Tom again, uh, and today we've got the first video in our Brawls in the Cantina series, which is um, predominantly gonna be casual games between myself uh, or Cameron and our Patreons. Uh, and these will be used to showcase upcoming or brand new releases. So these are gonna be short form summaries, uh, which I've edited and then commentated over the top of for the most part. Uh, if you enjoy what you see here, please drop us a like and a subscribe. And if you wanna support what we're doing here on the channel, uh, consider joining our Patreon. It's gonna help us keep putting the time into content like this and the links are in the description below. So without further ado, let's see what we are bringing today. Alrighty, so today's video is going to be myself up against Kevin C, or the Tyrannical Penguin, who is of course one of our very dearly beloved patrons, and he's going to be previewing an All Empire Strike Team, which is super exciting, uh, of course featuring Darth Vader, the Emperor's Servant, and the Stormtroopers. So this is going to be really, really cool. Um, in terms of diceless displacement, we've got the Fourth Sister and the Stormtroopers who are going to be able to do some of that. Uh, we've got Darth Vader, who is an absolute monster. He cannot be controlled in his new form so that's very exciting and then we've of course got the Grand Inquisitor and the third sister uh, and of course the Stormtrooper Sergeant who's going to be uh, supporting the fourth sister and the Stormtroopers in terms of getting where they need to be and providing some passive buffs as well. And over on my side, we're going to have a full or almost full rebel strike team. So Leia is one of the new rebel characters. She comes in those Ewok boxes. She's going to turn all the rebels into Ewoks and all the Ewoks into rebels. Uh, we're also going to have Low Gray, um, who's going to provide an immense amount of buffs. I mean, he's going to be dashing people, giving people hunkers. He's going to be healing people. We've got Paplu who is uh, a pretty good spike little character. He's got a lot of movement, um, not a lot of displacement, but you know he can, he can hit pretty hard if he rolls low on his expertise. And then we've got the Ewok Trappers as well, who are going to feature their new Battle Tactics card. Um, so that's going to be quite cool as well. So this is just uh, what's been previewed so far. Um, you know We know that more characters are going to be revealed for the Ewoks, but we just thought that we would bring these to you as they are and just see how they, how they function on the, on the channel. So Let's see how it goes. And this is, of course, where the fun begins. So this is going to be the priority role. Um, we're both bringing uh, shifting priorities today. So um, Kevin will win and we will be playing on shifting priorities. And this is an overview of the deployment, of course. So Darth Vader is going to be the first uh, drop down. Um, I am going to have a bit of a think. You know, I, I was previously thinking that I'd want um, Obi... Uh, Obi-2 up against the new Darth Vader, um, but I decided to actually try and have Leia do a bit of a run up against the Grand Inquisitor um, and, you know, all of his little shenanigans because um, she's incredibly, incredibly quick, uh, which is going to mean that uh, Morgan gets to, of course, see Darth Vader chop up some Ewoks if, <laughs> if the need should arise. So that's going to be really cool. Uh, in terms of the, you know, the, the, the terrain, I just thought that um, uh, Lando would have a little bit... Lando and R2-D2 would have a little bit of a better time getting climbs and all that kind of stuff. So that's essentially why we did that. Um, so Kevin's going to open up with the Shatterpoint. That's probably the only card that he doesn't want to see initially. So he's going to shuffle that back in and draw. And the Stormtroopers are a pretty nice pick as well. So they're essentially just going to advance. Uh, we're going to see a take cover as well. And yeah, a nice little start for the Empire. Um, you know, this uh, lead stormtrooper here is, of course, going to take cover behind the line of sight blocking terrain piece, uh, and we'll both, um, they'll both score an objective um, or claim an objective, and I, of course, will claim the middle one uh, on my side as well. Um, so, yeah, a nice little simple start. Um, you can just see that hunker um, pushing uh, the stormtrooper back up against the bunker in the rear, and yeah, nothing too crazy. Uh, next up, I'm going to draw Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, I'm fine with that. I mean, getting him into position uh, is pretty good. He can try and lock down a flank. So this is his run trigger. He's going to move himself up. He, of course, will be able to heal, but that's not going to do anything. Uh, he's going to do a take cover as well, uh, and then he will do a climb. Um, so I'll start off this, the, the game in terms of scoring, I guess you could say, uh, and we will score two for him. So Obi-Wan's just going to be really useful against some of these Inquisitors, um, just to force them to use some diceless displacement capacity, but um, he also will be able to shut down their attacks as well, which is quite nice. So he's a strong mitigator on this flank, and yeah, I'm happy, always happy to see him open up the game early. So you can see I've scored two, and then Kevin 
Kevin is going to draw the Stormtrooper Sergeant. So that's pretty nice. Um, he's in an opportunity uh, to move one of his supporting characters. So he's going to move the fourth sister over onto the flank just to start making use of some ingress points uh, in the next moves. The Stormtrooper Sergeant's going to take cover, as you can see here, and then just advance and uh, put himself up in the middle here. So, yep, a nice... Uh, I mean, Kevin's not going to go for the third. I think he's going to try and get extra bodies um, on the on the center point here as well and just get, you know, the Stormtrooper Sergeant um, handing out some extra dice where he can. Uh, we're both going to score two and... Oh, sorry. Kevin's going to score two. We're both getting momentum uh, and we can go with the Ewok Trappers. So I decided to put the Ewok Trappers in reserve just sort of like a Magna Guard-esque sort, of, sort of tactic uh, and we end up getting the Ewok Traps. So this is the card if you want to pause it and have a look at what we get. I've chosen the Stormtrooper Sergeant objective and this is the roll. Um, which is kind of cool. I mean, it can spike a lot. Uh, it is a hit, so everyone or any every enemy character contesting will take two damage, so Stormtrooper Sergeant and the Stormtroopers, and then we end up getting Low Gray. So he gets to dash all of the Ewok Scouts, which is really, really, really strong. Unfortunately, I do forget to dash uh, with Princess Leia here, and I also forget to dash with Paplu. So <laughs> a lot of uh, new things going on here, which I don't quite... Um, uh, have a full grasp on, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, so Logo is really good, and this is one of the main reasons that I wanted to put the um, Ewok Trappers in reserve. So he's going to have a little plink into the Stormtrooper Sergeant, uh, which is going to be two crits going through, which is quite nice. Um, so he'll essentially get, uh, I think, one shove. And the reason I put the trappers in reserve is just because I can start using them um, with, you know, triggers like low gray uh, just to get out of activation attacks and then they can activate at a, a more opportune moment. So low gray is going to get two shoves uh, and then we will also use uh, elders command on the um, the trappers on the on the bottom of the screen there. They'll also have a plink into the stormtrooper sergeant. So the Ewoks are just absolutely bullying these, uh, <laughs> these stormtroopers as they should. It's just a five dice little attack, um, but that's quite a good little uh, strike there um, so a, a couple of extra damage going through not a fantastic roll for the stormtrooper sergeant um, so then we'll also be using um, stealthy approach just to get low gray on the center point as well and that's a really really lovely turn uh, and i'll score four so i didn't quite wound the stormtrooper sergeant but he is devilishly low i think he's only got one health left and he's got a strain um, and here comes <laughs> the new darth vader so he's going to do an advance he's going to spend a force after regaining a force um, just to uh, use his anger, hate, and aggression. Uh, and unfortunately, before I've even activated these teddy bears, they are going to get chopped up. So it comes in roundabouts. I guess reserving the Ewoks before they go is, is good. Um, but, you know, um, here it is. So, uh, yeah, absolutely dominating these Ewoks. They're going to get shoved off a little bit. Um, but I have taken a bit of a lead in terms of the objectives here, of course. So uh, Darth Vader is just going to condition these guys out. Um, and then he is also going to use a jump just to get into the objective there. Uh, and, yeah, so he's, Kevin's going to score... Um, uh, two, but uh, he's also going to use find new ways to motivate them just to dash up the uh, the third sister there to try and use call the hunt on the uh, the fourth sister. So that's quite nice. I do end up deciding to go with the Ewok trappers um, just because I don't really need to risk doing anything else. Um, I'm going to have a crack into um, the stormtroopers, uh, and this is a stealthy approach as well. Um, so here's the crack into the Stormtrooper Sergeant, and this is actually a way that I can end the struggle uh, on the spot. So it's very, very quick struggle number one. I do get the results that I need uh, into the Stormtrooper Sergeant. He's going to get shoved back a little bit, um, and I will be able to follow up onto this objective um, and I will score four and a momentum, which will, of course, end the struggle nice and quick. So this is um, Secret Ingredients from Paplu. Oh, sorry, from low gray. Uh, so it is a hit. So that will indeed be a um, an extra force. And then I'm just going to do another attack into Darth Vader, who is exposed because he rolled some failures on his attack into the uh, the Ewoks here as well. So I'm still in range four for protective wards and Elder's Command and all that kind of stuff, which is nice. And I'll just use the reposition off the attack to get onto the point. Uh, and yeah, struggle one is over. So a quick little domination for the Ewoks there. And that's quite nice. This is the new uh, struggle map. Um, so Kevin decides to, you know, put it on this side. So he's already got one of the um, 
the Inquisitor's on the back point there. He's putting third sister into reserve just so he can keep it. And this is some of the Grand Inquisitor tricks. So we've got a, a you know who we are dash on Grand Inquisitor himself. Uh, and then we've also moved the uh, fourth sister up as well into position. Um, and then we're just going to have a bit of a lightsaber throw into these, uh, these Ewok trappers. So it's not going to do much. I think it's just two successes or something similar. Um, but he, he can do quite a lot of damage. I think he does four damage and a strain and a pin. So that's pretty nice with the lightsaber if you roll well. Uh, otherwise, it's not fantastic. Okay, so the priority objective is going to move right next to Lando. Uh, I do end up drawing Lando, and because I've already got him there, I think I can just whack them in reserve uh, and go for that. Now, the Shatter Point doesn't do a whole bunch for me here, so I have a little bit of a think, and I end up deciding to put that into reserve, which I do think is the right call, um, just so I can try and get a bit of a grasp on this objective, and then I can get uh, Paplu up into range. So unfortunately, as we said, um, I did miss the dash on him already, um, but anyway, we we decide to do a move uh, and then we also do a uh, stealthy approach uh, for the um, for him as well so we end up uh, doing some attacks uh, into Darth Vader um, it's not anything crazy I'm just trying to put some conditions down on him where I can but I actually don't think I do anything except a few damage um, but I'm just putting extra bodies on that point there just so I can uh, try and get a bit of a handle on it as well um, so my opponent ends up drawing the fourth sister, which is really good uh, for him. Uh, the objective stays right next to Lando. So she's just going to basically move. She's going to jump and then she'll probably take cover as well. And that's good for me as well. Uh, I'm just able to counter that with uh, Lando in the next turn. Um, but my opponent also does a force pull just to displace Obi-Wan Kenobi a little bit, which is really, really good for him as well. It's a good use of that ability. So, yep. Uh, Kevin scoring three and then over to me. As I said, I'm just going to draw Lando and R2-D2 just to try and get some attacks into them there. So I'm just doing some range attacks just to try and get the shove, uh, which will mean that I won't need to spend force for mingle just to get some extra <laughs> movement. But R2-D2 letting me down. Uh, but we do have a, um, a Lando follow-up shot, which does get the shoves that I need. Uh, but I don't actually need them on this character because I wanted to get a little bit closer with R2-D2, as I said, just so I didn't have to spend for mingle. Uh, unfortunately, I don't displace uh, the fifth sister, or so the fourth sister out of the objective. Um, but it doesn't matter because I will, of course, have two to one so i'll score three again i don't get a wound or anything like that um, but yeah we'll get uh, r2d2 and lando up on the objective there which is quite nice so up we go three points for me and uh, we'll see how kevin ends up countering so we're rolling for the priority objective. Um, that's not fantastic for Kevin unless he draws the Shadow Point, which is really good. Um, so he can indeed get the Stormtroopers up uh, and use some Diceless Displacement to take that objective off of the Ewoks. I mean, the Ewoks are also quite low as well. Um, so either they get wounded or some Diceless Displacement comes in. So this is going to be the advance um, ability off the Stormtroopers. They won't need to take any damage, I don't think. Um, so yeah, they're just advancing up outside of melee uh, all they need is sort of uh, one expertise or two expertise here i think uh, because um, i'm pinned and i'm strained already um, so yeah this is i'm just going to bring up the uh, the card of the stormtroopers so they get the expertise which is going to be a crit a damage and a pin so even before anything uh, i'm going to get wounded just from that which is really really strong so there you go you can see that i've gotten wounded that's the second wound on my poor little trappers and it's only the beginning of uh, struggle number two so that's a little bit problematic for me uh, and then the second attack is of course going in going to go into Paplu. Paplu will roll an extra uh, dice here um, just because of protective wards from Logre, who's in the center. Um, uh, but yeah, we'll get the two crits through on the Stormtroopers, which is, I think, uh, a pin or a strain and a few damage there as well. So they'll come in. Uh, now they outnumber me because my trappers are wounded. Um, so it will be three points back to Kevin here. So not going really well for me. I'm pretty weak on that uh, bottom flank here. I, I probably didn't do uh, the right approach, uh, but it's definitely a learning curve. Uh, I draw the Shatter Point again. Um, and this is probably an okay time to pull the trigger. 
uh, we end up going with Leia. Um, so she's going to use Infiltrate on herself. And I'm essentially just going to try and get all the way up the board to take the priority objective off of the third sister. Um, and she's incredibly quick. So I am more than capable of doing that with an Infiltrate, an Advance, a Defensive Maneuver, uh, and then some Shove Specials as well. So that's the two sort of moves. Here's the Defensive Maneuver. Uh, and I'm going to punch Reva just because she is a little bit weaker uh, in the combat. So it's going to be my seven dice into Reva's four. Here's the roll. Uh, it's it's decent. Um, I'm going to get the shove that I need. So here you go. And that will, of course, allow me to follow up onto the objective as well. So that's a lot of ground cleared from Leia. Uh, so I'm very impressed by her speed. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if sending her off alone like this is the best thing to do, considering the fact that she's got coordinated fire expose and all of that good stuff. But if I can lock down these two flank objectives, um, then, you know, Kevin's got a lot of resources on that right-hand side. Um, so the next draw for Kevin is, of course, the third sister, and the battle uh, uh, resumes. So we're essentially just going to um, have a punch back into... Um, into Leia. Uh, the first action there for Kevin was to heal a strain and then just smack. Uh, it's not going to be a lot of damage, but it will be, I think, two two or three damage and a shove onto Leia as well. Oh, and a, and a cheeky little expose. So that's quite nice, but it will allow Kevin to get it back, um, you know, with the follow-up uh, push. So uh, a good a good result for him uh, and a, a fairly low impact activation. Uh, he will only score two, um, because the priority objective is, of course, uh, on my side. And then uh, the last force is just going to be spent for a jump, as you can see there. So two points scored for Kevin. Uh, we'll both get a momentum, uh, and he gets to shuffle his deck. So... Um Here's Leia, and this is sort of what I was saying. The battle's just going <laughs> to keep going. I am going to use Infiltrate on Logre just to get him involved in the fight. Um, Leia's going to jump in uh, with, a, uh, I think, a defensive maneuver, and she's just going to punch Reva again. Um, I'm not going to be able to get the wound, unfortunately, but I will get, I think... Uh, um, three damage, a pin and a disarm, oh, sorry, a strain and a disarm, which you can see there, which is fine. Um, I'm not able to take the objective though, unfortunately. Um, so I only score the one point, which is not very good at all. Not a very good layer activation indeed. Um, so my opponent pulls the stormtroopers. Probably doesn't need them now. I mean, he can save them for some diceless displacement shenanigans. So uh, Kevin does put them into reserve, which I think is a smart move. And then pulls the third sister. So the fighting resumes here. Uh, a disarmed third sister into an exposed layer. Um, and yeah, does get the natural crit there. Um, so the crit will be all that goes through, which is unfortunately just enough to get her off the um, objective. So I probably could have played that a lot better, really, when I think about it, um, you know, if I'm basically touching the objective, then I wouldn't be able to get pushed off, but it is what it is. Um, and then I end up getting Poplu. So my first action here is going to be clearing a strain. Uh, and I'm just going to try and do as much damage to um, the Stormtroopers as possible because I do get a lot of extra dice if I spend for Fearless and Inventive. I think I get, uh, you know, four extra dice or three extra dice or something like that. So I'm just going to try and push the Stormtrooper off. But unfortunately, uh, I needed two, which I think is four damage. Deep, four pushes. Um, I only get the one, which is fair. I, I can't expect too much from, from him. So Paplu doesn't quite get what I need. I only score one again, and we get a momentum, and this struggle is uh, fast, uh, fast escaping my grasp. So not the best showing for me here. A couple of tactical errors, I think, which we can try and identify later on. Um, and yeah, my opponent draws the Grand Inquisitor. So this is good. Um, he can just sort of reposition uh, the fourth sister for later. Uh, I think, yeah, just sort of does that with uh, you know who we are. Um, so comes in to tuck in a, a little bit behind R2-D2 and Lando. Uh, and then the Grand Inquisitor will probably just go and reinforce Reva, who's looking weak on that flank. And if I draw Leia again, I, I can probably take that off. Uh, off of the grand sorry off of Reva um, if she's not reinforced there and she's got no real diceless displacement or anything like that I mean she's relying on her explosive charges and um, just her normal attacks and, and pushes um, so yeah uh, having a second body on that point uh, is really strong uh, for Kevin so that's the dash from the Grand Inquisitor just off of his tactical ability and his an um, an advance and then we just have a cheeky little attack into Leia um, so it's decent uh, attack from both 
Um, so not the biggest attack. Uh, it's just going to be, I think, um, two damage and a uh, and a pin. So nothing crazy. Uh, and I'm looking basically to end this struggle. So I draw the trappers. I definitely don't want to lose them because they've got double wounds. Put them in reserve and I draw Obi-Wan Kenobi. So I'm just preparing for struggle number two here. Uh, Obi is going to run on himself. Uh, we are then, of course, going to take cover and then do a climb for next struggle. And I'm really hoping that uh, the struggle ends uh, in Kevin's turn. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I mean, it, it almost certainly will, uh, but he could have the choice to drag it out a little bit um, if he doesn't get the right priority objective. Luckily, it does stay where it is, uh, which means that it's guaranteed to uh, to end. And my opponent draws the Shatter Point. Shatter Point's not what he wants, uh, but what he does want is Darth Vader because it's an inconsequential activation. And if Darth Vader, of course, doesn't wound something, he can get shuffled back and lo and behold, we get Darth Vader, Emperor's Servant. So this ability to not wound something and then get shuffled back into the deck is insane it is so strong especially in a scenario like this where you you're going to end the struggle anyway but you don't want to lose your big beta um, so Darth Vader's not going to spend for anger hatred and aggression uh, he's just going to take a normal attack into um, I think it's low gray so nothing crazy um, but yeah he will end up uh, so this is Paplu. Uh, he will end up just sort of pushing him away um, and causing a bit of a ruckus there. And beautifully, um, he doesn't take an expose because he didn't use his ability and he gets shuffled back into the deck, allowing him to be used in struggle number three. And yeah, here is the struggle three layout. So um, it's it's decent for me. I, I mean, I get to choose it. Uh, I end up pulling Lando and R2-D2. So I'm just going to try and get the wound on fourth... Uh, fourth sister here um, so I don't get any damage there so I'm clenched but it doesn't really matter if I don't get the wound um, but Lando coming in clutch and R2-D2 just letting me down he's uh, failing to to do anything I mean it makes sense he's just a little astromech um, he's more of a narrative piece isn't he he's not really a, a fighter um, so here's the shove from Lando. I do get the wound. This is the secret ingredients trigger. I am going to get a force. Uh, and here we go. This is just an advance. And R2-D2 letting me down once again. So he's out of that objective, which is a bit of a bummer. I do want to get two bodies on that point just to make it a little bit harder to take it off me. But because I got the free force from secret ingredients, I, I will just spend it um, and use mingle just to advance onto that point. Um, so a momentum and three. It's a pretty good start for me. Uh, and then Kevin rolls and the uh, priority objective is of course still on the Lando side. So that's nice. Um, the stormtroopers are going to go. Uh, you can see one's already dashed to come up onto the point there. This is with the focus ability. The second thing that they do is going to be for the Empire. And the best way to deal with Obi-Wan Kenobi is, of course, diceless displacement. Um, so they do shove or push Obi-Wan 2 away. That does expose them, but it's not a big deal. And then the second action for them is going to be a move. Uh, and they're just going to climb up onto the ingress and double body that point, which is nice. I mean, Kevin gets three we're both going to get a momentum and obi-wan is unfortunately a little bit out of it so there's the three Oh, sorry, he only gets two, of course, because the uh, priority objective is with Lando and R2-D2. So priority objective goes down to Kevin's backside, um, which is a bit of a shame for me. I end up getting the shadow point, and I've sped this up because I've decided to go with low gray, and you can see how much stuff he does here. So essentially, he's removed a pin, two damage uh, off of Leia. Um, and then she also gets a hunker, but she's engaged. And then I'm dashing all of my Ewok scouts. So I'm dashing Paplu there, and I'm dashing um, the, uh, the, uh, the, the trappers uh, outside of range two of um, Vader. And we're just gonna try and do a stealthy approach into, um, uh, into a range four of those stormtroopers and do an eight dice attack into them uh, because they are focused and I'm on my ranged side with uh, low gray. So not the best roll in the world. Um, three is a crit and a strike. So I end up getting five into an exposed stormtrooper. So it will still be two going through, which is nice. Um, so I will get uh, two shoves there, uh, which is good. It might be three. 
success is their total i'm not entirely sure um but yeah we end up getting the two shoves that i need um well i don't need them uh, unfortunately i can't get him off because of that little garden bed down there um, but i will end up using um some uh some elders command and because lando is now an ewok thanks to leia i can use elders command on him he gets uh enough expertise and a crit uh which will be enough to get the wound which is really nice and a great use of that ability uh, i will get the force back from secret ingredients uh, and then i'm just going to use an advance and put low gray up on the point uh which will now take it thanks to the dash earlier and the wounded stormtrooper so now it's a zero to my two and it's two different units which is all always nice to have when you're trying to take an objective um, so it's a good start I end up scoring three points again uh, but then the shatter point gets used on Darth Vader Emperor's servant uh, and he can come in and chop down Lando and R2-D2 so um, he does use anger hate and aggression and I do end up using mind trick here um, just because both of them are in range and I'm just going to try and keep them alive I know it's probably um, futile but if I do manage to keep them alive then I'm in a really good position for this struggle so um, unfortunately uh, Darth Vader uh, gets uh, five successes through which is 10 damage on the Lando R2-D2 combo um, so despite the mind trick I won't be able to keep them alive uh, that'll be a, uh, a wound uh, which will trigger new ways to motivate them um, so someone that is a galactic empire gets a dash um, we go back into the center and we both get a momentum and here is where things start falling down for the Ewoks. So Leia, I think, is way too far away. Um, I end up just sort of in a position to only really target Reva with my attacks, um, just to try and get the wound on her. But having double bodies there um, is, is problematic. So I do get the wound. I get another force back from Secret Ingredients, which is a really cool ability. I mean, that's doing a lot for me at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm not able to take the objective back, which means I only score one, which is a bit diabolical, really. Um, Leia uh, not I mean look it's it's pilot error here but uh, the fact that she can't do any displacement uh, is a little bit of a bummer um, but yeah I think uh, pilot error in terms of you know sending her all the way over to that left hand side is is not fantastic so the priority objective stays where it is uh, my opponent draws the stormtrooper sergeant um, decides to put him into reserve which is I think suitable uh, and then we will see what we get it is the fourth sister um, so yeah that's a, a good one to to take into the middle um, so we just have a hunker or a take cover and then we have a move action uh, and then just to get out of engagement range of Obi-Wan, we end up spending two force for a jump as well. So um, won't be able to take the objective off me. Still scoring three for Kevin here. Um, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's looking a bit dire for the Ewoks at this stage. That is for sure. Uh, looking dire indeed. Unfortunately, the uh, <laughs> the objective stays where it is. But there is an out. Um, if the Yubnub serves me well, um, Yubnub give me strength, then I will be able to displace um, the Grand Inquisitor with a crit. But unfortunately, it is a fail. So I cannot push him off of the objective. Uh, and we end up getting low gray. So we end up doing a bit of healing and some dashes stuff again um, so we're just going to heal two damage off of Leia uh, we are going to dash her into range of the objective um, just for I guess for fun <laughs> um, and then we also get to dash um, the Ewok trappers and Puplu as well so um, yeah that's essentially what we're seeing now Puplu is just going to come in a little bit more close uh, and then the Ewok trappers are just trying to sort of get themselves into a threatening range um, for when they wake up um, if the game lasts that long so this one's just going to engage Vader uh, which I, I think is fine uh, and then the other one will come over as uh, as well. So that is essentially what we're searching for. Um, it's not fantastic uh, because fourth sister is there. Um, I'm not able to actually leave that objective because then she'll essentially break the ties. Uh, and this is where I think I make a, a, a large mistake. Um, I should have just shot at fourth sister with uh, wisdom of the woods or the, the ranged stance, but I end up smacking him in combat. Um, if I had have stayed on the range side, there's a couple of shoves and I could have just shoved her off uh, and then I could have you know used Elder's Command to try and uh, displace Vader who is exposed at this stage so there is a chance that I can get him off the objective and then I could have moved or something like that um, to, to take some objectives back um, but it was a mistake this is of course the Elder's Command into Vader uh, anyway 
Uh, but yeah, that was quite the blunder for me. I only get the one um, success through anyway, so it wouldn't have made a huge difference. Um, but yeah, um, it was a, a bit of a mistake. And this is, of course, only going to score me one, and we draw Darth Vader. And I think Kevin actually says here, um, this is for Morgan. Um, so <laughs> he decides to dedicate this new this this turn to Morgan. Uh, he ends up doing anger, hate, and aggression first, and then he does a climb. Of course, he can because everyone is wounded. Uh, and look at the absolute power that is injected into these dice um, by virtue of, of, of giving tribute to Morgan. Um, so the game will, of course, be won on the back of Darth Vader chopping up some Ewoks. So, yeah, some really, really cool new triggers, I would say. Um, there's the struggle win. And brilliantly played there by the winner, of course, Kevin C. Um, so guys, just in terms of some summaries, I'd say that the Ewoks probably do need uh, the extra characters to flesh them out a little bit more. I think having Obi-Wan in there um, without the Rebel Tag definitely lessens the capacity for shenanigans. Um, so I'm really excited uh, to get the next few previews for the teddy bears. I'm really impressed by Darth Vader Emperor's Servant. Uh, I do think that he'll have a much larger board impact than his Jedi Hunter counterpart. Uh, by virtue, of course, uh, of his ability to get shuffled back into the order deck and, of course, with um, new ways to motivate them, um, giving Galactic Empire units a dash after someone, uh, after Vader wounds someone. Um, so as I said before, guys, chuck us a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw here. Uh, please be uh, sure to leave any feedback that you might have below. We're always looking to make improvements to our content uh, and bring you the best Shatterpoint uh, content available um, and of course if you feel like uh, supporting the channel further please do go out and check out our patreon uh, the links of which are below so i've been tom and i will see you next time thanks very much